So I'm here with Kate O'Neill, MetaMarketer, um, to do an interview for Edison Equation and see what she has to share. Kate, give us a little bit of a kind of a rundown of your entrepreneurial background. Well, I started MetaMarketer two years and change ago, um, and it's uh, it's been an interesting ride. You know, the, the couple of, as I'm sure everybody in their third year um, would be able to say that there have been a few, at least many pivots along the way. Um, but uh, MetaMarketer is really the first company that I've started, um, but I have done consulting solo a couple times, and uh, really I, I have said a couple times in the past that my first entrepreneurial activity was starting a nonprofit organization when I was 17 years old. <laughs> it was a youth theater company. Um, nice. <laughs> and uh, when I was doing my interview for the Entrepreneur Center for the I Am Music City video, Joe Kostelski uh, prodded me to say, like, and it's about a pro as profitable as it sounds. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> it was. It was, um, you know, we weren't looking for profit, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously even nonprofits have to be able to sustain mm -hmm. themselves, and we didn't really have the hang of that concept. So, um, but it was good. It was, yeah, <laughs> it was a good experience. <laughs> That's fun. And now before... Where did you go? Where were you before the consulting and meta marketer? So meta marketer is um, what followed. Uh, I, I had a brief gig doing uh, the running the consulting side of Sightning, um, okay. which is now Raven. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I, I don't know if they've changed the legal name of the company, but um, they had Raven at the time. But um, but John Henshaw, who's one of the partners, um, he had his focus was really on Raven, and he was looking for someone to you know, run the, the agency side, the consulting side of the business. <clears throat> so they brought me in to do that. Um, and that didn't last very long because I think they really figured out that their heart wasn't in the consulting side. It was really mm -hmm. in Raven, which is where it belongs. They've done a great job since yeah. then. But since we split ways, um, I had you know, kind of my, uh, some momentum going around consulting and agency business. So um, I set up MetaMarketer. I actually set up MetaMarketer before I like as a as a domain and as a concept before I went to Sightning, and it was one of the possibilities for what I was going to do next. Okay, um, it just kind of sat for five months while okay. I tried Sightning, and yeah. when that didn't really work out, I was like, all right, well that's cool. I'll go ahead and try. So you already had the vision meta for yeah. MetaMarketer, and kind of. I don't know that I had the full vision, and at the time that I started MetaMarketer, um, at, you know, full time, it was the idea was more of um, of creating an unagency. And it was going to be uh, a source, like an aggregate source of a lot of the freelancers uh -huh. uh, around town, around town and around the country. Really, you know, it, it's become uh, such a phenomenon over the last couple of years that yeah. that there's so many people who either, you know, for reasons of either being laid off or um, ha having a hard time finding enough work or whatever. Um, there's there's been just this huge spike in freelancing yeah. resources. And a lot of people are, are really committed to freelancing, and that's great. Um, but a lot of people are, are just passing through, and um, but they're still really, really talented while mm -hmm. they're available as freelance resources. And so it seemed to me that there was an opportunity, and there probably still is, and someone's probably doing it well, but I don't think I did it very well when, when uh, we started out with that, it, you know, to, to put um, organizing resources around freelancers so that you could take on fairly big projects and staff them with exactly the right resources. Because uh, what I found was a, a challenge, in, and, and this is why that wasn't exactly the vision that I had when I registered the metamarketer.com domain name. Mm -hmm. um, during the five months I was at Sightning, this really became crystallized to me that uh, when you have staff resources, you're always trying to keep them busy. So yeah. the concept of capacity utilization is the, the model on which most agencies are run. Mm -hmm. So you have a certain amount of billable hours that have to be used and that capacity has to be used or it's wasted. And that's your overhead, that's your, your, your margins that's getting eaten away, eaten away right? Um, and it, it struck me that that's not necessarily the best thing because you know, not only are you, you know, kind of stressing and have that, uh, that churn around you know, trying to make sure everybody's busy, um, so there's a scheduling uh, issue and there are all kinds of um, uh, issues around, around capacity utilization, but there's also this challenge that uh, you may have work that requires a type of skill that your staff resources don't have. Mm -hmm. And in some situations I've seen it where uh, staff resources have been assigned to that task even though they don't necessarily have the right skills yeah. when there sure, might be a... often. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, where there might be a freelancer, you know, in your neck of the woods who yeah. has exactly that right skill. But if you weren't burdened by the need to use that capacity, you would be using the right resource to, yeah. do, to do the job. So that was what I was really trying to address. And um, 
it, it turned out to be a lot more transactionally expensive than I was expecting. You know, just my time of, of kind of becoming familiar with mm -hmm. um, the resources that were out there and kind of screening those people and um, really having a good feel for how to best utilize them. Um, that was really challenging. I'm, I'm sure, like I say, somebody's probably figured it out. Mm -hmm. It is a tough nut to crack. So yeah. instead, we, we, we mini pivoted and um, really stopped focusing on, on work that was uh, going to require different resources and, and focused instead on, on more analytical work. And that was work that I could do and I could have a, a small team around me that was uh, very good at. So, um, so that's, that's where we ended up.